Welcome back to the Relaxing Ghost Channel here on YouTube. Today we have the 1999 pay-per-view collection. So this will feature 14 events from the 1999 World Wrestling Federation year. Uh, this is going to be a revisited video, like I said in the previous uh, collection video. I did th do this before, and I I recently got uh, the Rebellion pay-per-views and uh, Insurrections for the next couple of years. So we're going to be doing updated videos for 99, 2000, and 2001. Hope y'all enjoy this. Let's get right into this with the Royal Rumble 1999. So as you can see, I don't have the box for this event. Um, hang on. But we can look in the Rumble Anthology. So this was dubbed No Chance in Hell. I just want to look at the spines real quick. And... Yes, I am using the WrestleMania 15 from the Legacy, and Over the Edge was never released. I do not have Survivor Series. That is the one pay-per-view I don't have on uh, on VHS, Survivor Series 99, as it was not released in North America on DVD, as well as the... Uh, no Mercy UK. I don't have the, the box for that either. So this was the Rumble which Mr. McMahon won. And uh, the famous I Quit match. China would be the first woman in the Royal Rumble at number 30. Really cool. Not the best event, but... You know, it's cool to see uh, Austin and McMahon tearing it up and whatnot so business wise in 99 they were probably doing some of the biggest business uh to date you know but creative wise this is not the best year in wwe history next up we got saint valentine's day massacre they only did this pay-per-view once you know it's the uh austin mcmahon in the steel cage we had the Big old blue cage back, just painted black. And this is where the Big Show would make his debut. So all these events have the good old blue home video logo. Most of mine are Canadian, because I'm Canadian. But really cool seeing some of these. You know, the Mr. McMahon with the roses. So this event, we had a the first ever last man standing match between Mankind and The Rock. Triple H and X-Pac versus China and Kane. We had Jarrett and Owen versus Mark Henry and D'Lo. We had Shamrock versus Val Venus. Al Snow versus Bob Hawley. And that's when they went in the Mississippi River, I believe. Yeah, they had some really cool hardcore matches back in these days. WrestleMania 15 would be the first official DVD released. So, really cool. Again, not the best WrestleMania of all time, but... I I enjoy it somewhat, you know. This was in Philly. We had Rock and Austin in their first of three matches. We had a Hell in a Cell match. Triple H versus Kane. We had a hardcore match. Shane McMahon versus Xbox stole the show. The Brawl for All. Uh, Park Gun versus Butterbean. Owen Hart and Jeff Jarrett versus D'Lo Brown and Test. So this would be Owen's last mania. And then Paul White Big Show versus Mankind. Yeah, pretty cool. My favorite feature is the. Uh, Calling it like it is. I believe we have uh, Rock and Austin calling the main event. So yeah, there's a shot of the insert there. Really cool. 
Next up is Backlash In Your House. I believe this is In Your House. No? Maybe not. So this may be the first pay-per-view out of the In Your House kind of theme. You know, apart from the UK stuff. Because St. Valentine's Day Massacre was still technically an In Your House uh, offspring. And, uh... I always thought Backlash was as well. This is a this is a really cool cover. I love Mankind. You know, Austin and uh, Rock in a rematch from Mania. This is what WrestleMania should have been, in my opinion. We had another really cool hardcore match. We had X-Pog versus Triple H. A boiler Room Brawl. Taker and Shamrock in a pretty technical match. We had Godfather versus Goldust, The Brood versus The Ministry, and then The Outlaws versus Owen Hart and Jarrett. Next up is the No Mercy from the UK. This is May 15th, 1999, just six days before the Over the Edge pay-per-view. And yeah, this is a, a busted up tape I have, no box or anything. But, uh, pretty fun event there from Manchester. We had, uh, again, the Ministry versus the Brood, Kane versus Midian, Nicole Bass. We had Shane McMahon versus X Pac, Billy Gunn, and Mankind. And then a triple threat for the WWF Championship, which was really cool. That, the end of that match was just insanity. All these guys just came out and, uh, you know, got involved with the match. Then we had the Over the Edge pay-per-view, May 23rd, 1999. Owen Hart, you know, sadly passed away. So this was never released on DVD or anything. This is a custom-made set. Um... I'm still surprised they changed the championship at this event. So they do a screw job finish with Taker defeating Austin. Shane McMahon was the referee. We also had The Rock versus Triple H. Road Dog versus Billy. Corporate Ministry versus The Union. The show actually starts off pretty good. And it goes downhill very quickly. Next up is King of the Ring 99. This is probably one of the weaker events of the year. Um, the Rock and Undertaker, they never really had many matches. I thought it was a decent match. Of course, you had uh, Austin as C CEO at the time in a handicap ladder match versus the McMahon boys. And this is the, another screw job finish where they, the raising of the briefcase and raising of the briefcase... We also have Big Show versus Kane, Road Dog versus China uh, in the semifinal matches. That was a really good match. Check that Road Dog and China match out. Um, I always remember this from the Boot of the Week commercials with uh, lugs and all that. So that was really cool. Love that King of the Ring logo. And of course, Billy Gunn ends up winning King of the Ring. It was rumored he'd face Austin at SummerSlam. One of my favorite events, fully loaded 99, the end of an era match, first blood end of an era match. If you haven't seen this event, I highly recommend it. Fully loaded only lasted a couple of years, but we had The Rock and Triple H in a fully loaded strap match to determine the number one contender. We had the rights to DX, Mr. Ass in China versus Road Dog and X-Pac. Kane and Big Show with the referee Hardcore Holly. Austin versus Undertaker in that first blood match. Very good show. You know, check this one out. This is on my top 10 list. We also had Edge and Jeff Jarrett in a uh, IC title match. Edge actually won the title the night before and then drops it on the pay per view to Jarrett. SummerSlam 99. This is the first pay-per-view I ever watched live. 
live on pay-per-view. And this was the second WWF pay-per-view on DVD. So there's a little comparison shot of uh, the DVD and VHS, you know. A lot more color on the spine. But I actually like this blacked out. So yeah, artwork, pretty similar, you know, same shots and whatnot. But we had Tag Team Turmoil, two titles on the line for both IC and Euro European Championships. Kane and X-Pac versus Taker and Kane. Big Boss Man versus Al Snow, the Lover or Lever street fight. And then the triple threat match for the WWF title. Austin... Triple H and Mankind. This is a good event. The Lion's Den match. Really fun. And they also included the main event with the... Uh, that triple feature there with, where... Uh, they all call the match. Austin, McFoley, and uh, Austin. I think I said Austin, McFoley, and Austin. Austin, Foley, and Triple H. Uh, each taking a turn calling the match with, I believe... Michael Cole or Kevin Kelly. Unforgiven 99. This is not a good show. I love this cover. I always love seeing the title on the uh, on the pay-per-view posters and artwork covers. And this was a special six-pack challenge for the vacant championship after... Mr. McMahon had won the title from Triple H. Um, I like I like the match, but you know this is a, a very overbooked show. And let's get a close up of that championship. That look, just looks awesome. So Austin was the guest enforcer. This was at a time when the referees were on strike. Love that Unforgiven logo. So really cool. Kane had that black and red attire. The British Bulldog actually wore tights instead of jeans. We had Jeff Jarrett versus China for the first time around. Ivory versus Luna. Mark Henry and D'Lo. The Kennel from Hell match, probably one of the worst matches of all time. The Outlaws versus ENC, really good match. Xbox versus Jericho. The Acolytes and the Dudleys. This is the Dudleys' first appearance on pay-per-view in the WWF. And we get to Rebellion 99. Another pay-per-view from the UK. So this was a really cool event from Birmingham. And a really, really cool cover. I always like that logo there with the fist and the uh, backwards E. So there's that. This featured a steel cage match between Triple H and The Rock in the big blue cage, which was now black after uh, St. Valentine's Day Massacre. I don't think they brought it back to the States after this. Um, they used it at Unforgiven, and then I believe they left it in the UK because we did see it in the UK a few times after, and they just stuck to the more traditional mesh cage. X-Pac and the Bulldog. We had Road Dog versus Jericho. Uh, Jeff Jarrett versus D'Lo. Kane and the Big Show again. We had uh, ENC, the Hollies, and the Acolytes. Godfather versus Gangrel. And a Fatal 4 away match for the women's title. So, decent event. Next up here is No Mercy 1999. From uh, Cleveland, Ohio. This is, I believe, the officially last pay-per-view Vince Russo was a part of. They may have continued some of the stories he was a part of, but he left uh, after this night, I believe, um, for whatever reasons. We had Triple H and Stone Cold Steve Austin in the main event for the World Wrestling Federation Championship. I love this event. This is one of my all-time favorite shows. Love that logo, so basic. And then you have the kind of logo they adapted later behind it. 
China winning the IC title, the first ever tag team ladder match, the Bulldog and the Rock, Mankind and Val Venus, a four corners match with X Pot, Kane, and the Yakalites, Fabulous Moolah winning the women's title after like 30 years. <laughs> Survivor Series 99 from Detroit, Michigan. Again, it's one of the only, uh, it's one of the only events I don't actually have, like, in original form, so maybe that's something I can look into. It was supposed to be Austin Rock and Triple H in the main event for the championship. Again, uh, another shot of the title on the cover. They did, They really didn't put the title on the cover much in these days. So this is another custom uh, event. This is Kurt Angle's first appearance on pay-per-view versus Steve Blackman. Or Sean Stasiak, sorry. thought he faced Blackman somewhere. Maybe the next one. So yeah, we had a one-fall sudden death match for the women's title. And uh, two, two eight-mans. We also had a, a what, a four-on-one where Big Show just dominates uh, pretty much whatever was left of the corporate ministry here. And then we had the Hollies and Too Cool versus E&C and the Hardys. Um, so this is a more traditional Survivor Series. And then we had Mankind and Al Snow versus the Outlaws. X-Pac versus Kane. China versus Jericho, and then the Big Show, surprisingly, winning the WWF Championship. And then finally, Armageddon 99. Really good way to end the year. I thought the last half of 99, I believe they knocked it out of the park uh, month after month. The product was improving. And we had uh, Triple H versus Mr. McMahon. So Mr. McMahon actually headlined what? Three pay-per-views in this year. <laughs> or four. Because he, he won the Rumble. St. Valentine's Day Massacre. King of the Ring and Armageddon. So this is the first Armageddon pay-per-view. Very cool stuff. And this is where Triple H and Stephanie aligned. Big Boss Man versus Big Show. Not the best. We had China versus Jericho, Rock and Sock versus the Outlaws. We had the British Bulldog versus Venus and D'Lo, Kurt Angle versus Blackman. Here it is. We had a Four Corners Evening Gown match. This was uh, interesting. Miss Kitty, I believe, won the title here. A super heavyweight match, cage match, and then a fifth, sixteen-man tag team battle royal. So X-Pac and Kane had a really good feud going. You know, they were tag champs. And then the whole, uh, once Triple H became a main eventer, won the title, they brought DX back together. And uh, that was probably my favorite version of DX. You know, the stuff after WrestleMania 14 was great. But this new McMahon Helmsley uh, faction regime with DX and everything was really cool. So there we have it, guys, the 1999 pay-per-view collection. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know some of your favorites. As always, we'll talk to you later. Peace.